My views here with Ray Talib, aka A Leaf Ali, man. Talk to us. How you doing? I'm feeling good, man. We ain't camp. We're about two weeks out. Two right? weeks out. Yes, October 6th, right? October 6th, out here in Houston, Texas. Hey, so correct me if I'm wrong. Is this fight televised? Yes, it's on uh, UFC Fight Pass. Fight Pass? Yeah, Roy Jones Jr. promotion. Uh, with, uh, next fight up. So, how, how, how you feel about that? About this being your first televised fight? Well, actually, this would be my second one, to be honest. Okay. This, this is bigger than the first The first one. Uh, actually, was the first televised card on uh, Fight TV. The first actual boxing televised card. If I'm not mistaken, that's the one with Zerto Ramirez. Yeah, I fought on, yeah, I fought on a, a card with Zerto Ramirez. Okay. So, let me ask you, is how was Next Fight Up putting you in position to move you up in the ranking? I mean, this has been my best... Uh, year so far as far as activity you know this has been my fourth fight this year and i might get in one more after this so i mean at this at this rate it's just a matter of time you know what i'm saying they putting me in position I'm, I'm fighting i'm staying active so it's going good right now when you say that they putting you in position what exactly does that mean they're keeping me busy they keep me in my in the ring i told the, the profession of being a professional fighter and they're making sure that i'm being a professional fighter all throughout the year are you looking uh, for fights that are going to put you up in the rankings, move you up in a, in a faster rate right now? Right now, I'm with everything my team want to do. So behind the scenes, whatever we're trying, of course, the goal is always a world championship, every day, but that's why I got a, a complete team, you know what I'm saying, to make all the correct decisions and how to move me and all that. Are, they, are you asking them for fights or are you just taking whatever fights they give you? Nah, since the beginning of my career, I ain't never turned down a fight. I ain't never said no to a fight. Whatever fight they say, I let them decide. I, I, I just train hard as I can. I'm always, you know, my motto is I'm training for Floyd, meaning I'm training for the best. Whatever they put in front of me, it just is what it is. I never said, no, I don't want this guy or not. It's never. I just accept whatever whatever they put in front of me. For this next fight, um, I know you've been working with Bobby. You, what, three fights in with Bobby Benton so far? And he also trains Regis Progress. Yes, sir. Uh, what's some things that you feel that he's added to your game at this point? Man, he, he's, uh, Bobby attention to detail is crazy. And he just, uh, he's really helped me do what I've been wanting to do in the ring and giving me the game and just the pointers and showing me just the, the experience, the IQ, and just help, helping me do what I'm trying to do. Show him, like, showing me, guiding me to where I'm trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, press, like, like it's a video game, like, hey, press X and do X. But just, you know, just helping me get to that complete fighter that I'm trying to be. How you, oh, go ahead. How you feel about your progression so far? You feel like you're moving right along? Yeah, my progression has been crazy. I, this, this, I've been with Bobby for about a year now, and I mean, the performances speak for itself. Like my last fight was my best performance, hands down. I was against, just gonna mention against that against my yeah. toughest competition. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a solid, active fighter who already has uh, put another win under his belt since our last fight. And um, my progression has been crazy, and the work just speaks for itself. So talk to me. Coming off that beautiful performance, uh, what can we expect out of you on October 6th? Just to be a little bit more sharper, a little bit more confident, a little bit more relaxed in the ring. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to step it up and take it to another level. So hopefully we can get the stoppage. I mean, I, that's not what it's all about, but I do want to start, you know, ending the show, you know, a little bit earlier. Well, you don't get paid by the yeah. hour. You get paid by the... Exactly. You don't get paid by overtime. Yeah. So let me ask you something. You've been one of Reed's sparring partners in this, in this camp coming up. What is your thoughts on this fight he got with Williams, um, Jose Zapata? Well, you know, I'm not sleeping on Zapata, but I just feel like Reed is going to get the stoppage. And right now, like, Reed has been slept on for, for a long time. And for him to be where he had in his career, like, his hunger is on a different level. Like, it's, it's, it, it motivates me. Because, you know, a lot of those guys, when they get to that level, you know, they, they slow down a little bit. Regis is training like he just got in the pros. And, like, he, he's still hungry at this level. He's training all the time. He's always ready. He's always in the gym. He's always sparring. And that should just show me he at this level. And it just show me that, you know, I'm, I'm doing the right stuff for him. And it's setting a good example for me. So let me ask you, you like you've been sparring Regis. How has Regis helped you elevate your? Yeah, level? Regis helped me when they first, you know, allowed me. It was the last year for the uh, Zapata? I mean, I'm sorry, the Red Cash fight when he brought me into camp and he he liked the work. And ever since then, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like he's telling me, hey, do this, do that. He give me pointers every once in a while after sparring. He give me game, but it's just being able to be around uh, a talent like himself. You naturally just gonna pick up on a lot of experience and a, little, a lot of things, you know, 
I'm a learner. I, I'm a fast learner. I learn by watching, you know what I'm saying? I learn by being in the action. So I'm, I'm learning so much just experience of being in the ring with him. It's iron sharp and iron. Talking about experience, I know one thing that we was talking about yesterday was uh, you spawn Austin Trout and all the little tricks that yes. a veteran like he like he shows. You talk to me about that. Yeah, spawn Austin Trout. That was a that was a blessing too. Like I said, both of these guys, Regis and Austin Trout, I used to watch these guys when I was an amateur when I first started boxing. I never thought that I would even ever, you know, what I'm saying it was so far into my eyes. I never even thought that I would ever even be in a ring or sharing coaches or sparring with them. So it's amazing. But uh, Austin Trout, he's just a, he just a definition of experience and veteran. Like he has all the intangibles. He has things that you can't, the naked eye, the average eye can't just see from outside the ring. You know what I'm saying? He knows the insides of the ring like it's nothing. And it, his experience is, is crazy. His IQ is crazy. He knows what he wants to do at all times of the ring. So, and I'm just picking up game from him also. Well, let me ask you, with with this camp, how has this camp gone compared to your past camps? What's different about this particular camp for this fight? Like, uh, just the time, you know what I'm saying? We're still working hard, but we getting comfortable. Like, I'm getting way more comfortable with Bobby. I'm getting way more comfortable in the ring. Um, the level of work that I'm putting, I'm training smarter. My diet has become smarter. Everything is just coming together. It's just, you know, more experience. I'm gonna keep getting better, you know what I'm saying? My learning curve is huge. I, a lot of people know that I haven't been boxing that long it's probably going on six years now so my learning curve is still you know very big and i'm learning every day every week i'm getting better okay and well, you know i'm gonna throw a uh just a curveball at you to get away from what you're doing now what you think about shakur stevenson tonight uh oh yeah he also fights tonight versus uh robinson Conceicao. Yeah, Conceicao. Robinson Conceicao. yeah so yeah. how you how you see that fight going can you break that down for us uh, to be honest, I don't I don't know much about uh, Robinson Conseco. I heard that he's a I, well, I know that he's an Olympic gold medalist. I know that uh, Shakur just he recently missed weight and lost his titles on the scale. But in my eyes, before before that, I, I I said that Shakur was the best at 130. So just going off of that, I expect him to you know to win because if he the best, he, he gonna show that tonight. You yeah. know. Mm -hmm. All right. So tell us where we can find you at. Uh, I'm on Instagram underscore a leaf ali and on facebook you can find me ray tali jr yes, yeah, october 6th october 6th fight tv dominant performance ufc fight pass next fight up next fight up big shout out to next fight up my promotion yes sir thank you for your time right appreciate it yes, sir.